All right, now I'm here with Gary Greengrass. Hi, Gary, how are you? How are you? All right, good. How bad could I be? Look where I am. I'm in your uh, celebrating 100 years. Wow, is that so uh, establishment? Uh, give me a little history. It's actually, we're in business 107 years. And actually, wow. the first 100 years are the hardest. <laughs> Um, I'm the third generation owner of Barney Greengrass, the Sturgeon King. My grandfather was Barney Greengrass, and then I was in business with my late father, Mo Greengrass. And now uh, I'm in charge. I used to be the prince. Now I guess I'm the king. I'd rather be the prince. <laughs> wishing my father was still here. Uh, we specialize in smoked fish. People come from all over the world for our delicacies. They come from all corners of the world. Um, we do a mail order business within the United States. We have following of people all over the United States. And obviously, we don't ship outside the United States. We have people come from Spain, Europe, France. Europe, I guess France is part of Europe last time I did check. <laughs> England, Belgium, Brazil, even though Brazil is part of Europe. Um, they come from all over, and we've always had a great following of, of people. Um, we do a mail order business, like I was saying, and actually in my, in my grandfather's day, he used to send a package out to Al Jolson at the Hillcrest Country Club in California, and he would used to uh, share the, uh, I, I apologize, it was, you know, George Burns would tell the story about how he used to be friends with Al Jolson because Al Jolson used to have Barney Greengrass fly sturgeon to Hillcrest Country Club out in California. He used to befriend them, and he used to share the sturgeon with them. So he used to say, he used to, I started to like the sturgeon, but I did Jolson. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, this is an a institution by far. How does it feel to maintain a family's uh, uh, heritage, let's say? I mean, it's, it's something special. It's unique. It's a, it's a family-run business in New York City in this day and age. It's a rarity, um, and it's special. It's a it's a it's it's a legacy which is we want to try to maintain and, and to upkeep. And we we still go by my grandfather's ethic of uh, you know being a food store for those who demand the best, bringing the best possible product. Whether obviously our smoke fish is our specialty, whether it's a tomato, we make homemade cheese blitzes, whatever it is, we try to use the best products that are available. Yeah, I should have, uh, now I'm hungry already. Well, I was just looking around here. So you, have you, has this been your original location, 86th, 87th, Amsterdam Avenue, New York City? This, this location's been here since 1929. It's the new location. <laughs> Before that, it was up in Harlem on uh -huh. 113th and St. Nicholas Avenue. Uh-huh. Okay. All righty. So uh, I see you have uh, sorry, some t-shirts. You know, I, I have my buddies in San Francisco. I have people all over the place that have been uh, ordering. When they come into town, they're here. Yep. And we meet here and uh, uh, get some locks and eggs and uh, so on and so forth. It just doesn't quit. I see you got some mini uh, babka over here, too. Huh? Mini babka, mini black and white cookies. They're great. Do we, uh, and actually, those t-shirts require no refrigeration. In case <laughs> now tell me, can people go to a website and, and find some of these things and then sure. order it there yes. as well? They can go to barneygreengrass.com. Um, otherwise, they can just give us a call here at the store. Our number is 212-724-4707. Or as they say in the old days, Skylar 4707. <laughs> For those of you old enough to know, Skylar is spelled S-C. There you go. <laughs> All righty. Yeah, I don't know that, and I'm on the Upper West Side 30 years. Uh, let me ask you two quick last questions, and thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're, uh, you're, you're well known. You do good charitable work. You just look at the front window and you see how many awards you've gotten. Uh, you're here for the community, uh, very community-minded as well. I know that. Uh, in fact, we're a community-minded station. And <laughs> we met you at the Upper West Side Food Festival, uh, and you know you're you're there. You're there for the people. Um, what's good news for you? Good news. No news is good news. Uh, you know, we go about our day to day. You want to have. You know, a peaceful home, a peaceful community, a peaceful world. And, uh, you know, when people come here, people are happy. In other words, it's special about our place here is that it binds a generation. You can get a, 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 an eight year old child, you can get a teenager, a college graduate, a college student, a, a young adult in his 30s, 40s, an older person, middle aged, senior. They're all comfortable under the same roof. And it's something about this food that binds the generations together. It just brings them together. And when people come here, they're happy. Ah, it's beautifully stated. And talking about peace, since we're so involved with world peace or achieving world peace, what is peace for you? 
Peace is a piece of white fish. <laughs> it's a piece of white fish. That's what's peace for me. It's a pleasant thought. Thank you. No, thank bo you. no bones about it. <laughs> Thanks so much. No thank problem. you. Thank you.